Okay, everybody go. So, first we have the deltoid muscle. This is the deltoid mu muscle, it is the shoulder muscle. Okay, so what's it called? Deltoid, deltoid. deltoid muscle. Good. I'm gonna just simply remove the deltoid muscle. Please understand that this muscle has a tendency to fall off. The deltoid has a tendency to fall off of this model pretty easily. So I would just study it and put it to the side. As soon as you start moving it around, it makes it a little more difficult. So here is the clavicle, okay? Here's the clavicle, and you always wanna keep a point of reference. You always wanna look where the thumb is. So remember, the thumb is always gonna be lateral, because remember, your anatomical position. So the thumb is gonna be lateral, the pinky is going to be medial. The difficult thing about this model is that they don't have the arm perfectly laid out this in a directly anterior direction, posterior direction. They actually have it turned slightly. So you need to keep that in mind, is that they've actually turned the model slightly, okay, the, the arm. So this is all lateral, and therefore this is all medial. This is where your armpit, armpit would be. So we see that? So it sits like this. So we see that? Here's the clavicle. This is where the shoulder would be. Here's your scapula, okay? So. This right here is the pectoralis major muscle. Your pectoralis major muscle is your chest muscle. What they've done is they've cut the pectoralis major muscle. That's why you're seeing it this way, okay? So you're seeing just a segment of it. Does everybody understand that? So this right here is the pectoralis major muscle. Next, when we have the muscles here, okay, we have the scapula here. Now, this is the spine of the scapula. If you remember, the fossa that's above the spine of the scapula is called the what? supraspinous fossa. The muscle that's above it, or that's in that fossa, is called the supraspinatus muscle. Does everybody get that? Supraspinatus muscle. The muscle that's below it is called the infraspinatus muscle, okay? So the muscle that's below it is called the infraspinatus muscle. So supraspinatus, infraspinatus. This muscle right here is called the teres major muscle. This is the teres major. Above it is called the teres minor. Teres major, teres minor, infraspinatus, and supraspinatus. Does everybody understand that? Now, my advice to you is do it in the following way. Teres major, teres minor, infraspinatus. Why do I say that? Because these look like different muscles. Does everybody understand that? So even if I put a sticker anywhere along here, you still want to start from the bottom and go what? Teres major, teres minor, infraspinatus, supraspinatus. Does everybody get that? Teres major, teres minor, infraspinatus, supraspinatus, okay? If you remember, the opposite side was the subscapular fossa. What's the name of this muscle? Subscapularis. Does everybody understand that? So this muscle right here is called the what? Subscapularis. So here we have teres major, teres minor, infraspinatus, supraspinatus, and subscapularis. Now look where teres major goes. Teres major goes behind this muscle, teres minor goes to the other side of that muscle. So basically splits like this. So teres major and teres minor basically goes like that. Okay? okay? Next, if we look right here, this right here is a muscle and the tendon. Now all these things in white, here, 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 all here, here, are all gonna be tendons. Okay, so all of these are, these white structures are tendons. Okay? The muscle is going to be in red. Okay, or orange or whatever color you wanna call this. It should be really a red color. Okay, so this right here is actually part of the latissimus dorsi. Now, latissimus dorsi is on your back. It's right back here. Does everybody understand that? That's your back, the latissimus dorsi. This is the latissimus dorsi. It goes to the humerus, okay? We're gonna see that in a little while to see actually what the latissimus dorsi looks like. Now, what did we call the upper arm? The upper arm was known as the what? Brachium. Good, so this area right here is the brachium. This muscle right here, is called the biceps brachii. Where does brachii indicate? Brachium. And biceps indicates what? Two. two. So we have one and we have what? Two. Does so everybody understand that? So there are two parts to it, okay? So, the this, if you look right here, you ever see how there's like a division right here? You see how there's like a division right there? That's indicating what we, those two parts, okay? And they're known as heads, okay? So you have two heads to this biceps brachii muscle you have what we call a long head and a short head. Now look at the thumb. The thumb is gonna indicate lateral, right? So this is the thumb, it's lateral. If you follow that up, therefore this is the lateral side, this is the medial side, correct, of the muscle. Well, on the lateral side, you have the long head. On the medial side, you have the short head. So on the lateral side, you have the long, and the medial side, you have the what? Short. Does everybody get that? Okay, 
Easy way to remember it, long is lateral, L and L. Does everybody get that? Okay. Now, when we go to, and when we go to the medial side of the brachium, we see this muscle right here. Everybody see it? There. You guys see it? You guys see it? Got it? Okay. This muscle right here goes to the coracoid process. When this muscle goes to the coracoid process, it starts in the brachium, right? It goes to the coracoid process. So we call it coracobrachialis. <laughs> This is coracobrachialis. What's the name of the muscle? Coracobrachialis. Okay, not coracoid brachialis, coracobrachialis. We're leaving off the day. Okay? Now, if we go to the lateral side, so the medial side was the coracobrachialis. On the lateral side, we have this muscle here. So, to give you some orientation, here's the biceps brachii. This is the belly of the biceps brachii muscle. It means like the fat part of it. And then this part right here is called the brachialis muscle. So this muscle brachialis starts here, and if you follow the fibers, and that's how it differentiates a different muscle, at least on these models, here, it goes to here and here, okay? So this muscle that starts lateral is called the what? Brachialis, good. So here's the biceps brachii, coracobrachialis, and the brachialis. Does everybody get that? Okay. Now why is it brachialis? It starts in the where? Brachium. Everybody get that? Okay. Next. This is the elbow, okay? This is your, what do we call the elbow? Olecranon, excellent. So this is the olecranon. All of this in white, is this muscle? No. No, it's what? Tendon. tendon. Tendon, very good, okay? Now there is another word for tendon, it's termed aponeurosis. A tendon is usually much more narrow, like this, and aponeurosis is generally wide. When we look at the skull, uh, excuse me, the muscles of the uh, head and neck, we'll see that the muscle that's anterior and posterior, it has an attachment on top of the head called an aponeurosis. Okay, so you know this is not a muscle. But we have three muscles that are part of actually one larger muscle, and it's called the triceps brachii. Brachii indicates what? Arm, good brachium. And triceps indicates what? Three. So here's one, two, and three. So this right here is the division. Does everybody understand that? The division between these two muscles. Now, the part of this that I, I can't give you a trick for, I can give you part of a trick to help you out with this, but part of it is also memorization. You have to remember that you have a lateral head, a long head, and a medial head. You have a long, a medial, and a lateral. Does everybody understand that? So lateral, medial, and long. So what should you always do? Look for the what? Thumb, because thumb's gonna tell you where lateral is, correct? So take the thumb and follow it laterally. So isn't this the lateral side? Isn't this the lateral side if that's the thumb? Yeah. So this is the, is this the lateral head or the medial head or long head? What do you think? Lateral, lateral head. Everybody agree with that, right? Now you have these other two muscles that are next to each other, right? Between these two, A and B, which one is longer, A or B? A. A. So therefore that's the long head, which leads by process of elimination, the medial, medial head. Everybody get that? So you have lateral, long, and medial. Does everybody get that? Okay. Done.